So a PDA stands for a patent ductus arteriosus, and that's a muscular tube that exists in all babies before they're born and normally closes soon after birth. In some babies and children, it stays open. Um, and uh, there's a picture here of a normal heart. Uh, this shows two blood vessels coming off the heart in red and blue, and those blood vessels are separate. On this next picture, you'll see that there's a connection between the two blood vessels, a little tube, and that's the PDA. It can put extra strain on the heart and can cause other problems, and so we consider it an abnormality when it stayed open beyond a certain time after birth. So it's usually diagnosed by a doctor or another medical practitioner hearing a murmur. That's the typical diagnosis. And once that's happened, the child is normally referred then for an echo scan, which is an ultrasound scan of the heart. And you'll see both of these on this picture. The, the scan will outline the ductus and make the diagnosis, and it's usually at that point that a child will come be referred through to somebody like me for consideration of closure. These days it's very rare for us to need to do an open heart procedure to close a PDA. Almost all of them are closed with cath procedures which are keyhole procedures done under anaesthetic from the blood vessels at the top of the child's leg. And that allows us to go up into the heart with a special tube take a picture of the PDA and then place a plug like the plugs you'll see on the picture which come in different shapes and sizes and are tailored to fit the shape and size of that child's PDA and close it. Almost all ducts can be closed now, ducts or PDAs, with plugs and we can close PDAs in babies as small as 700 grams with plugs all the way through to fully grown patients and the technology is very similar. It requ requires tubes placed through the blood vessels and plugs that are the right shape to fit the PDA um, and then the plug will be placed and firmly secured and safety checks performed before it's finally released and then once it's released the plug will close the connection. It will seal off, um, clot if you like and the PDA will be gone. No, there's no scar on the chest like there is after open heart surgery. The only mark is the mark at the top of the leg where we have to put the tube in, but that's barely a millimeter. And with time that will fade such that over the fullness of time, there'll be no evidence at all that the procedures have been undertaken. So obviously children need to recover from the procedure but we find that within 24 hours, they're almost always completely back to normal. Then, in the longer term, assuming that there's no additional heart problem or other complexity, children that have had PDAs closed are the same as normal children. Their, their hearts behave the same way and there are no differences. Assuming there's no additional heart problem or additional complexity, with a simple PDA after closure with a plug, we would normally see a child a few weeks after the procedure and then roughly around a year following closure. If all's well at that stage, there's good evidence that children are then completely normal and we would consider discharging back to the primary care provider.